This video is on priorities in the cabin interior based on scientific research. To create comfort the question is whether you should focus on the seat, on the noise or maybe on the temperature. Well the results in this video are based on the opinion of passengers tested in real flights. First of all the airline industry did a good job. The comfort scores increased the last 30 years and in the jury of the Crystal Cabin Award I see yearly many innovations passing by. Bowens studied in 2018 which factor is most important for feeling comfortable during a flight. 50% of the passengers flew economy class longer than 6 hours and 50% had a short haul economy flight. Well, this study showed that how we fit in the seat is most important. In this graph it's called seat anthropometrics. After that noise was rated most important, but smell and temperature were important as well. If we ask this question for specific activities, the results change. For instance for sleeping, the climate gets more important. Using a laptop, reclining might become more important. In a turboprop, the order is different as well. In the 2022 Conf Demo study, the turboprop was studied. In this graph, noise is the most important factor related to discomfort in the turboprop, and followed by seat and vibration. Interesting is that the recorded vibration between seat and human was higher making a turn. And the next factor was temperature, the lowest temperature was recorded at feet level and the highest at head. This is not good for sleeping. For sleeping we prefer warm feet and a cold head. In the turboprop noise reduction has priority. This could be done by changing the frequency by for instance uh, changing the number of blades on the propeller or using sound damping materials or giving the passenger a noise cancelling headphone or earplug. And Bowman showed that giving the passenger an earplug or headphone already increased the comfort as they had the control of using these when it's too loud. In improving the seat, legroom needs most attention, followed by cushion, lumbar support and seat width. And for the cushion it's important that it's not too hard according to Yao et al. Around 6 kPa will do according to Wegner. And it is important that the seat is not completely flat, but has small bolsters, also not too hard. And it's important to have a soft bull nose as it touches the most sensitive parts of our legs. And Ayani et al. showed that width has a large effect. She compared change in seat width to change in seat pitch. And in this figure you see that increasing the seat width from 17 to an 80 inch has a larger effect than increasing the 30 to a 32 inch pitch. By the way, 28 inch pitch should be avoided anyway, even with a very thin backrest. In conclusion, based on scientific research, seat and noise have priority in improving the cabin interior. Offer earplugs or headphones to prevent a negative noise experience. Or create legroom and enough seat width and don't let the cushion be too hard. This will result in more comfort in the cabin.